Everything from mic technique to voice care tips on Get A Better Broadcast, Podcast and Video Voice. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart. On Twitter, you can follow me where I'm Tweeter Stewart. So a couple of days ago, we looked at specifically about diaphragmatic breathing. So I, I thought it would be useful just to go through again, just so it's, uh, it, it's really straightforward, the benefit to broadcasters of breathing like this. So got uh, various little um, uh, bullet points here. So diaphragmatic breathing, which as I say, I described a couple of days ago, relaxes the larynx, which means you can speak for longer without getting hoarse, brings in more air so you can get to the end of a sentence without running out, better breathing gives you more confidence, and that leads to a more relaxed body and a slightly lower register, your shoulders aren't rising and falling with each breath, which could be a possible distraction for video viewers, and your neck is less tense, and so muscles and veins won't be as obvious, again, noticeable on screen. You can see, therefore, that there's all this interconnectivity going on, that just altering one thing slightly um, differently to what you're doing at the moment. But what we used to do as kids before we had that kind of body image thing about, oh, my stomach's sticking out when I breathe like that, I'm going to breathe another way with my shoulders. Breathing properly with your diaphragm actually makes so many other parts of your body work better, work optimally, yeah? And that, as far as your voice goes, makes you sound better because of the confidence quotient that's coming into play as well. That's today's episode, short one today. And tomorrow we're going to be looking at how to know if you are an abdominal, good, or clavicular, bad, breather. That's in tomorrow's episode. As Get A Better Broadcast, Podcast and Video Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. Bye. Bye. Bye.